Hello everyone and welcome to the Dork Squad YouTube channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to look at how to set up and stream from your Nintendo Switch. For more videos on setting up and improving your live stream, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below or you can check out my Twitch channel which is twitch.tv slash scottsadork. Now before we get too excited, there's one thing that I need to make clear. There's currently no way to stream directly from your Nintendo Switch to Twitch. So today we're going to look at how to set up and stream your Switch content using a PC and a capture card. Now wait, before you close this video and give up on your streaming career, let me just say that this setup can be relatively inexpensive and as I hope to show you, very easy to set up. The added bonus with this setup is it will allow you to stream some older consoles like your PS3 and Xbox 360 or even one of these little mini consoles that have been released in recent years. Heck, anything that uses an HDMI cable will apply to this setup. Now some of you are probably asking, what is a capture card? A capture card is a device that sits in between your console and your PC and acts as a data receiver for your PC. When your Switch is on and running a game, the capture card will capture the video output from your console and make it an available media source for your PC. Now there are a number of brands and styles of capture card available in the market. Some of the more popular brands include Elgato, Razer and Ava Media. Almost all of these achieve the same outcome, so make sure you do your research and shop around. I personally like the Elgato products, their UI is easy, they're great value for money and they're made for streamers. Okay, so let's look at a few things we're going to need to get going. Number one is your capture card. Number two is a reasonably specced PC. I mean, even a laptop will suffice. You don't need the flashiest graphics card or overclocked CPUs. Something reasonable and reliable should do the trick. Next, you're gonna need a broadcast application. Now, I recommend OBS Studios or Streamlabs OBS. And you can download those right now for free. And I'll put those links in the description below. I have set up videos for both of these applications on my YouTube channel, and I'll put those links in the description below as well. Next, you're gonna need a dockable Nintendo Switch. So unfortunately, a Switch Lite won't work in this instance. The last two things are a stable internet connection and a Twitch account. If you don't have a Twitch account already, head over to twitch.tv and sign yourself up. Now, if you haven't downloaded and set up an OBS program, pause this video, jump over to my YouTube channel where I have detailed setup guides for both applications. But for right now, we're gonna skip ahead to connecting and adding your capture card source. First, we'll need to make sure we've downloaded and installed the relevant game capture drivers and software provided by your capture card manufacturer. Next, in the back of your Nintendo Switch dock, connect one end of your HDMI cable into the HDMI out port. Take the other end of this cable and plug it into the capture cards in port. Using a second HDMI cable, connect one end to your capture cards out port. Then take the other end of this cable and plug it into your HDMI in port on your TV or monitor. If you have an external capture card, connect it to your PC with the included USB cable. Now these next steps are exactly the same in OBS Studios and Streamlabs OBS, so it doesn't matter which one you're working with. To check the connection of your capture card, head to your device manager menu in your Windows settings. Go to sound, video and game controllers where you should find your capture card. You wanna make sure that your capture card is enabled. If you ever have issues with your capture card's connection to your PC, and have checked all HDMI cables are working, try disabling and re-enabling your capture card in the device manager menu. If you are connecting any other console to your capture card, you will need to make sure that you disable the HDCP settings in your console system settings. Now, dock your switch and open up your OBS application. You can start by creating a new scene for your Nintendo Switch gameplay. Next, let's find your capture card by adding a video capture device to your source list. Select your capture card from the device drop-down menu. 
adjust the volume of your capture card source in the audio mixer window. Or right click anywhere within the audio mixer window to open your advanced audio settings. The sound from your capture card will make up part of your desktop audio as if you are streaming a PC game. Here we want to set your capture card audio to monitor only, so we can hear your Switch game, but OBS won't broadcast two audio sources concurrently. If you have webcam or overlay sources already set up in another scene, you can copy and paste these sources into your Switch gameplay scene. Alternatively, if you add these sources again, OBS should have these listed as existing sources. Once you're ready, hit the Start Streaming button in the bottom right hand corner of your OBS window. There we are, we are now broadcasting your Nintendo Switch on Twitch. Oh, oh, oh no, no, that's, that's a good thing. Oh no, that's a good thing, that's a good thing, okay. Do, 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 do. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in. For more videos on setting up or improving your live stream, make sure you hit the subscribe button below or check out the video description for my social media links. Till next time, guys. Bye.